five takeaways. <laughs> We're going to talk about our top five podcasts. That's right. We did a mix. Uh, well, I did. My only parameter is not all time podcasts. I did current that my current top five um because uh, throughout the years there are some that have changed or or, or, uh, or ended and such that i adored and loved and i thought were great um but these are my top five we're going to start with our fives we're going to do it a little bit in a new format um so let me pull it up now paul what was your number five again um, oh that's my right my favorite murder yeah <laughs> i was trying to mess with you <laughs> <laughs> talk about it man what's my favorite murder about um so let me preference this, you guys, just to be absolutely honest. We absolutely love these two women read stories about murders that have happened. Um, some people just write in stories of they've come across serial killers or killers. And their oh, really? Their family has. Yeah. So they just they read all these letters and stuff. And it's actually it's really enlightening. Most of it. And it's cool. They bring a lot of attention to um, Eskimos and a lot of those murders that don't really get talked about out there or failure of um, justice for those people. And I, th I think they do a great job with that preference. I listen to podcasts just like I watch movies to get out of politics. So if it's an election year, they will spend the first 25 minutes of an episode ranting about anything going on and for me it sucks so like yes they are my number five and overall listen to but like this year like a couple months ago i had to kind of stop listening to their newer episodes because it's all blah 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 and i'm, I'm listening to you all to get away from it. i like what you actually do and your stories those two women are hilarious so when they do that it just kind of ruins it for me so that's why i just want to preference that to you guys just so you don't listen to like the most recent episode then you're like you said it was about murder this is about politics like what the hell is mm -hmm. this like no go back <laughs> or if it's okay and you're fine with listening to that listen to it i just want y'all to know there you go my favorite murder is his number five my number five is horror with sir sturdy now i'm sure some of you are like well you guys are he's like one of your best friends i was like yeah I know, but it didn't start out that way. <laughs> I, I actively sought this dude out. Um, I wanted him to originally be on. I was such a fan of his show, which mm -hmm. I found him during the pandemic. He's been going years before. So uh, I watched the show mm -hmm. on YouTube and then I started listening over the year. And mm -hmm. the thing I love about Horror or Sturdy, for anybody who doesn't know or hasn't seen him on one of our shows or me on one of his or something, uh, he does a show that just explores horror horror movies in a way that unlike anywhere else i'm seeing i'm not saying other people aren't talking about the same movies but for the most part it's even i produced a horror show and it was the same bullshit that everybody else is doing across the board they're talking about the same shit you know like it, it, it's whatever like top horror movie you want to talk about at the time uh and that's what everybody's focusing on the thing i love about horror are sturdy and i really want to build this up and, and sell it is that if you're a horror fan and you're looking for new things, which I always am, I've seen a lot of movies, so like I'm always looking for new things to watch, and I love recommendations and stuff like that or stumble upon. Let me tell you, when it comes to horror for sturdy, he stumble upon. <laughs> he really does. These horror movies, I found so much stuff, good, bad, and everything in between. That is just, but I'm glad I watched. It. I'm glad it was new adventures and stuff like that. And his podcast is great because it's very laid back. It's very chill. It feels like you're hanging out with friends. Uh, so, you know, like the vibe we try to go for here. And I think that's why we all mesh really well. But yeah, I sought this dude out uh, when I found his podcast because I wanted to do a show and I wanted him to be on my show. And uh, that's how we became friends. But like, I was a legit fan. I, I love this as one of my top fives. Uh, so our number four podcast is going to be. Well, tell them about yours, sir. So let's not meet as once again, people write in and they write in about weird experiences. Um, sometimes it can be like they almost get assaulted and they get away or it can be someone racist or murderer or you know, managing to get away if a rape happens or something like that. And then it always, you know, it's the catch line. Let's not meet. Um, like, I hope we never meet, you know, things like that. Instead of like misconnections, it's like miss murders type things or things like that. So it's, it's very dark. Um, and it's kind of crazy just hearing some of these stories. Cause you know, I feel like a lot of us have the awareness to stay away of out of situations. And even when people are following the right steps to ensure things don't happen, they still can happen. And it's crazy just seeing how little twists can just make a good situation a bad one. So it's I don't know, it's kind of eye opening to an extent. <laughs> Paul, your your list is suspect as hell, man. Especially with our, <laughs> for anybody watching this clip, go back and listen to the whole podcast because you'll find totally out why this is suspect as hell. You are you are a serial killer, sir. <laughs> in in waiting, <laughs> hibernating serial killer. 
Uh, do you have like the ghost of like Jack the Ripper in you or something? Wait, like if so, so if you were a serial, no, we, we're not. <laughs> Number four on my list is the Sean Donahue show. Uh, I've stumbled upon him on TikTok. I found his uh, 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 his TikToks where he's talking about parenting, and he gives amazing advice. He gives it from the uh, a different sort of uh, being a different type of dad. You know, and I love it. I, you know, <laughs> listen, <laughs> mine was a hoot. So, and I'm always trying to do something a little, a little bit different, um, <laughs> facetiously speaking. But uh, Sean Donahue has is, is really opened my eyes to like how to talk to my kids about certain things. And it's not gentle parent. I know a lot of people throw that out there. It's not teaching gentle parenting. I'm not talking about this podcast, talks about a lot more stuff. Um, it's, it's connection, is what it is. It's the way, you know, connecting with your kids. And say what you will, I've seen gentle parenting. My kids listen to me because we connect, you know, and, and that's the advice he really gives, like, you know, one of the, his top pieces of advice. So uh, if you can, if you're a parent and you, you know, want to learn some things, I really think checking them out, at least following them to see his videos. Uh, so number, <laughs> going down the void of your list. Um, <laughs> What's wrong with my list? <laughs> number three. Nothing's wrong with your list. No. <laughs> that's not fair it's not your no, list fair. these are all fine podcasts like i'm i'm not saying nobody should listen to them i'm saying the dark ass shit you said on our podcast earlier <laughs> leading to this man this is making me rethink and i made these graphics i knew this was coming <laughs> number three on our list you want to talk about it <laughs> yes those conspiracy guys they are hilarious it started with two gentlemen originally out of ireland just talking about american conspiracies it's funny how much they make fun of us and all this shit and the crazy shit we do and even them talking about irish um heritage and just some of the things we have that they don't such as they you know they brought up condoms for one of their earlier episodes and they didn't have them till i think they said like 98 um which blew my mind something Wait, like what? that yeah because the catholic church how well instilled it was they weren't allowed to they had to like import condoms like specialty buy them yeah yeah, yeah. Who? The Irish in Ireland. Oh, I thought you meant in America. I'm like, no, in no, no, no. What are you talking <laughs> You're like, about? I was right. using condoms by that point. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, just to like say I was, you know. <laughs> oh, they're great. I, mean, guys. I didn't mean to say that, especially in a clip ep segment, but whatever. <laughs> it's the fifth anniversary, whatever. I don't care. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> If I could recommend the first first listen to you guys, um, check out the one about the Warrens. I love their commentary about the Warrens because they bring comedy to it. So it's funny of them talking about how Lorraine figures out she has her abilities and just their take on it. Um, their accents are great. I'd say the first probably four years of their podcast is amazing. They kind of branched out, so the original two are kind of taking a backseat. Um, and it's not quite as funny without Gordon as it was, but it's still in my tops. I still listen. Do they talk a lot of uh, serial killer conspiracies? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. You know. Seeing a trend. So my number three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, these these are great guys. Uh, I discovered them. Not discovered, by the way. <laughs> that feels that feels really like. But like when I say discovered, my self discovery of listening to yeah. podcasts. <laughs> um, that was where I went with it. So my five cents podcast. I discovered them for me as a fan. Uh, I think it was 2021, and okay. I believe it was, it was either 2021 or 2022. Uh, and that was before I was on their show. I was, or you know, or they were on you know this show, and I gotta get them back. They're amazing. But uh, I just had so much fun. So it's a podcast where they invite guests on, and based on the guests, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the the guests' uh, uh, background. You know, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. Self help. It could be you know ministry it could be movie podcasters you know stuff like that uh they kind of set the tone with the topic and what they do is they each argue a point they debate a point and the you know the the guests will choose the winner mm -hmm. and, and it's just but they bring so many great levels to it there's a lot of things you learn about it through the guests through them uh yeah. there's a lot of back and forth while they're doing it uh, it's just a really well done show. It's one of my top podcasts, so I wanted to oversell them. And I realize I'm not going to oversell my next two because they're not. Uh, well, actually, my next one's not. 
I, I did pick mostly indie because I mostly listen to indie. So please, if you understand that we are trying to oversell our fellow indie podcasters, that's why. Uh, but number two on our list, and I won't oversell it, but I will say that, you know, how I feel about it. Oh, yours isn't indie either. No, not at all. No. Wait, <laughs> was yours, were any of yours indie? Yeah. The first three were indie. Yeah. 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 Not this one. This one. Nah, this one's great. Do though. not, do not mention the the company name that this is. Okay. With. You can just tell okay. them it's on all podcasts. Well. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love Justin Long so much. Um, so all I did was I literally just Google Justin Long. Then I was like, oh, he's got a podcast, and I listened to it. I I don't like it just because he has celebrities on it, but I do enjoy that he just he, it's just a conversation, and they'll talk about you know random things in high school or middle school and stuff. It's not. I feel like a lot of times with celebrity interviews or podcasts, it's very, you can tell it's almost script. They only talk about certain things. Yeah. They watch kind of more of what they say. They're not talking about how they, you know, peed themselves in a middle school musical in front of everyone when they were nine years old, blah, blah, blah. And how embarrassing it was and this and that or, or whatnot. Um, I just enjoy it. Cause I, I do like his voice. You know, I wish they'd stop killing him off in any show or, <laughs> or movie. So we'd get more of Justin Long or not a sadness <laughs> with them at the end. But, um, I really enjoy it. I love his voice. His brother's funny because both of them do it. His brother produces it, I believe. Um, it's just great. If you just want something to listen to He's, or you have... Yeah. He seems like a quirky guy for that. Yes. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. And if you have favorite celebrities, look him up because he's probably interviewed them and learned something new. Did you uh, see 430 movie with him? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll probably review that one. So keep it keep watching that but uh my choice for number two is the plot thickens it's uh the podcast fish podcast of turner classic movies hosted by ben mankowitz i i love this podcast it's like i'm a movie guy so i love that i love watching turner classic movies just learning about it that joe bob um geez like so many of the horror hosts really because that's really who's doing it uh cisco and ebert um all those guys man back in the day uh it, it that's was my imdb besides books and magazine like any type of information i can get on about movies like i want it so and that's how you got all that information and i love turner class movies for that like in between every movie you're getting all this wealth of knowledge uh it was always a great time so that's why i love this podcast because it's like i don't have to watch a movie now to get to the next about of information i just have the podcast and the, the beautiful thing about this is each season covers a different sort of celebrity or industry profession so uh one season was lucille ball another season was pam greer which was amazing because you know you you hear a lot of these seasons and it's not their their subjects are dead long dead because it's classic uh but pam greer is alive and he got to interview her and talk to her and and, and learn from her uh, about a lot of things so it was very cool to have that aspect of it too but the newest season uh covers one of my favorite film directors of all time if not my favorite uh john ford and if you're interested in his movies uh or learning more about him i definitely think check out the plot thickens um yeah, and number yeah. number one on our list this is this i i think mine is indie but i don't think yours mm -hmm. is and that's yeah. yours is bad friends and mine is yeah. double posted which is interesting that we went with this for number one both because they're very they're friends it yeah. seems like friends <laughs> hanging out and talking you know yeah. the different type of subjects but that that's sort of what they go with but why don't you explain bad friends for everybody um, so I love them just because they're always in a good mood. They get me in a good mood. They're great for car rides or just while well, I'm cleaning or whatnot. They remind me of my friend group because we're not going to mention who's who. You can figure out the roles on your own, you guys. But one of us can sometimes be a hothead. One of us is over dramatic, and we go back and forth all the time. So it, it just reminds me of just hanging out with the friends because it's all out of love. Um, but they really they go in deep on each other <laughs> and other people. <laughs> and it just it's a Typical Saturday night with the boys, which is awesome. <laughs> Andrew Santino. They're both funny on it, and they're both very good together. But, yeah, Andrew Santino cracks me up, though. He is uh, he's a trip, man. He's a ginger Matt Branch, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Well, sounds like, uh, sounds like I'm going to be losing you to another podcast soon. Uh, so it's going to be good friends that go, go look for them. Uh, but my number one is double toasted. If you don't know them, they were, uh, Corey Martin, um, the whole crew is there. They have channel of shows, you know, similar to like what we do, uh, them on a 
much different level. Like I look up to these guys. Like I really respect their reviews for movies uh, and, and their takes on things. They had a great style of comedy. Uh, I was drawn to them because it's like what I do and that's what I like to do. Um, you know, different, very different, of course, you know, because everybody has different ideas, but it was like the style and the vibe. Like you felt, it felt really good to watch or listen to these guys because it just feels like everybody's welcome. And that's like kind of what we go for here, even though it's the fifth anniversary and no one showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm going to bust balls on that. But uh, yeah, no, no, that's the uh, Double Toasted, man. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, they have a slew of shows, but they do have the Double Toasted podcast. I uh, can go check them out. But uh, I really do enjoy all their stuff, really. Um, but that's our list, everyone. That's our top five podcast mm-hmm. for our five takeaways this week. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, we're kind of running a little long, so we're gonna get started on our reviews. Thank you for watching. If you're watching the clip, go check out the full show. <music>